what happens in type 1 diabetes very early on is that the ability to produce nitric oxide is diminished. You're not able to respond to high stress loads. So not only are the blood vessels becoming stiffer, but now the blood vessels aren't able to even respond as well to the stress. And so as you're looking at this and you're looking over time, you see these early signals of atherosclerotic progression. You also see very early on that it was once expected that all patients with type 1 diabetes would have eye damage, some form of eye damage called retinopathy, where you start to lose vision, eventually you can go blind within 20 years of diagnosis. So most people are diagnosed in 10 to 14 years of age, which means by 30 to 34 years of age, you're going to see a lot of patients who have altered eye function and or some who are blind. Now that has extended out over time, but we know that all patients with this disease, because of high and variable glucose levels, are expected to get at least one complication in their lifetime if they follow standard of care advice today, even with the best technologies out there.